the love of Allah that when we say, Ya Seen, this is from Allah's immense love and the reality that He carries the love of Allah Habib Allah. Not only that He loves Allah but Allah's immense love upon the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad which can't even be understood or fathom. By the reality of Sayyidina Nat Taha, Tahir al Hadi, the purified guide of Allah that Allah anciently created as Rasulullah in Hadith al Jabbar when He said, I'm the Rasul before the event of Adam between clay and water, means my light anciently has been the Rasul of Allah for all of eternity. By the immensity of these two realities that we're asking, Ya Rabbi, by the barakah and the blessings of Ahlul Badr. Those whom fought and struggled in the way of Allah whom number is 313 and that they dress the 313 awliyaullah and by Ahlul Badr and the 12 Imams of the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad and their descendants and the reality that they carry from the prophetic inheritance as a family inheritance from the reality in the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad become the complete moon. The love of the companions, love of the family, it becomes Qamarun and the perfection of the Qamarun reality that the awliyaullah inshaAllah are inheriting from that, that they teach to their students. By means of these immense realities every difficulty to be taken and every struggle inshaAllah to be granted its support and its victory. Amen. By the immensity of these, these events that are coming on to earth and what we see happening everywhere around that we ask Allah immensely more to open these realities, dress us from these realities. That now Qadabullah is, is all over the earth, don't need to pray for people of here or there, pray for yourself and make sure you're good with Allah stay out of the way and don't mind anything else. Allah's qadab and burning is coming on everything. It's not for anyone to pray for this or pray for that, pray for yourself, make sure yourself, your family and your communities are safe, that you are good with Allah and good with Sayyidina Muhammad the immensity of azab that now entering upon the earth. That's why they're teaching, be good with Allah be good with Sayyidina Muhammad Don't worry about left and right here and there, make sure you're good. That you did what you're supposed to do, you supported how you were supposed to support, you're of service, you're of khidmat, you have some reason to be around for the service of Sayyidina Muhammad That's all, everything else is just a distraction. If you worry about your grave and make sure your grave is good, your condition is good, if you're the imam of your family then you make sure you're definitely good. So that your light is able to protect the family and protect your loved ones inshaAllah. In these holy nights we pray that Allah dress us, bless us, protect us from His Divinely anger and Allah's promise is that, I would not punish them while you are amongst them Ya Sayyidina Muhammad while they are also making their tawbah and istighfar. So that's the tariqah comes to teach you is is keep the immense love of Sayyidina Muhammad it keeps us in the presence of Prophet And be from the people of Maghfirah and Tawbah who are continuously asking istighfar. So Allah's promise of Holy Qur'an to be true for us, I won't punish you. Means I'll forgive you for the wrongs that you're doing and keep you in that presence inshaAllah. In these days that we believe last days and this Ahlul Badr and we've described this many times over the years for us to understand this reflection reality that Prophet would sit with his companions and say, in the last days there are a group of people that would give everything just to see me. It's hard for companions to capture this because they're seeing Prophet all the time. Not understanding the depth of that love that they have so much love for me. They're going to live and die in battles for me, they're going to struggle for me just for a glimpse of my surah that my nazar be upon them. And Holy Companions said, these, these people who are they? They are my ahbab. 
And the title that Sayyidina Muhammad gave to the last day's nation are Ahbab. So this is a title, inshaAllah if we're the last nation we ask that Ya Rabbi dress us from this title to be Ahbab and Nabi the lovers. And that's why we name things Hubb Rasul and Muhammadan because we want to be from Ahbab and Nabi This is a title that given by Sayyidina Muhammad and the holy companions so mesmerized by that love they said, I thought we are Ahbab and Nabi said, Ya Ahbab but you are my Sahab, you are my Sahabi because you see me and you are with me and, and eating and walking and, and struggling with me. But these are a people who never saw me and this was such a love for, for that reality because all the holy companions of that reality they inherited for Ummati, Ummati at that moment awliyaullah described that these ahbab, the ruhaniyat were shown to these Ashab and Nabi And their souls were shown to the holy companions and each of the holy companions put their nazar upon them and say, may their love because their love for you, may our nazar be upon them, our support be upon them so that they reach to your love to be with you and that you be happy with them and, and they be happy and in love with you. So the immensity of, of this dress of Ahbab and Nabi, all these actions that we are doing to get into that category of Ahbab and Nabi is then you reach all this fires, all this love of the holy companions. When you say holy companions and, and people don't understand how much spiritual power they have, they are above all awliyaullah, the all of them are awliya and they're above all of them, awliyaullah only inherit drops from that reality. But in that immense love how much they want to serve the nation of Prophet How much they love to serve those whom love what they love dear. That's why when, when you understand love, you, you love everything that the person loves that's true love. When they love Prophet they love everything that loves Sayyidina Muhammad How else are you going to get the holy companions to support you? Because you, you just love Allah? How could you love Allah but not love Sayyidina Muhammad So then you begin to understand what is the Muhammadan way. Those whom don't understand their head is empty of something. When they don't understand how to reach all these realities they're not yet there. Maybe one day they come and say, oh no I understood. But to reach Allah's immense support, immense love and everything that Allah has given of a blessing and barakah was to reach to this reality. When you love Prophet imagine all the love that comes to you. Not only you gain the love of Sayyidina Muhammad you be with whom you love but you gain the support of all these holy companions, all their realities, all their dress. So when the pious people they were taught to make du'a they're always asking, Ya ibadullahi salihin whom you struggled and loved Sayyidina Muhammad give us good character. Give us an example, grant me a support, yansurukullahu nasran aziza. That every obstacle to obliterate every obstacle that's in my direction, perfect my character, perfect my love so that I have a, have a, have a, a pride to be in that presence. Not the pride of dunya but to be happy that I'm in that presence of Sayyid Muhammad and not to be in that presence ashamed of who I am and my character. So it means this immensity of support can only be achieved by this love and entering into that ocean of love. And these are all the blessings and barakah and benefits of the love of Sayyidina Muhammad We pray that Allah address us with its immense realities 
and that where Abdul al Ajiso, Daifu, Miskeen, or Zal, and Mujahad, and we're coming to that door with nothing but just a heart filled with immense divine love and love for whom Allah loves, the love of Sayyidina Muhammad, the holy companions of Sayyidina Muhammad, Ahlul Bayt and Nabi and all awliya Allah who struggled in that love and in that way for samai wa fil ard from the heavens and on earth and all the angels and the mu'min beings inshaAllah Budal and Rijab Niqab Awtad wal Akhyar Malaika wa Jinn inshaAllah bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha.